అన్నట్టు ఫ్లాగ్ అని వచ్చింది ఏంటండి మిస్ యూ హావ్ నాట్ ఫ్లాగ్ ఎనీథింగ్ అని వచ్చింది ఇక్కడ మిస్ అయ్యాం ఏం కాలేదు అండి ఏం కాలేదు ఓకే సో ఇస్ దిస్ ద డాక్యుమెంట్ ఎస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నా లుక్ అట్ దిస్ యు సి హియర్ డాక్యుమెంట్ ఆఫ్ డబ్ల్యూ ఈ డబ్ల్యూ ఈ డబ్ల్యూ ఈ వాట్ ఈస్ దిస్ దిస్ ఈస్ విత్ రిఫరెన్స్ టు పిఓ 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 పర్చేస్ ఆర్డర్ okay so now having known the document type how to set up number ranges you see once you know the document type you have to come out of this into the second node where you will be doing number range setup here you see is there anything different here it's the same thing which you have known it already you have to go with groups okay you create your own group how to create your own group enter group insert group okay you maintain something like nissan group we have discussed about document concept for the inventory management the material document will be posted with the uh, year and the document number whereas the accounting document <coughs> will be posted with the fiscal year company code and the and the, the number of the document itself because this we are ta talking about goods as it document type which is nothing but a material document can i just give me a moment please others class down anandi nen call chesara meeku 11:30 katla ha nen call chesandi 11:30 call chesta right thanks bye okay so you set up the year in the which the number range is applicable or valid you choose the number ranges that you want it and then you post it okay as simple as this please enter from number smaller than two number okay all right i did not enter it now you see miss sang group so into this group what are the material document types that you would like to post it w e you wanted this to be brought under this what should i do chapal pavitra radhika sundara garu double click sir you just double click on this particular document type so that the color gets changed to green blue and then select this group go with element group assignment okay so like this save it. okay so next time when you do goods this is it is this number which gets picked up by the system now you see here i go with check deficit of so and so that's okay i go to post now you see the number that is generated here would be the number that i have just configured okay so this is how the number range okay so this is the last time i will be setting up the number range so rest of the places where you will be um, defining the number range yourself okay so wherever and whichever module you go it's the same concept so therefore if you learn once properly it's the same thing you need to apply at all other places okay so let it come it will come right now i will just go back back once again now apart from that if you look at it for each and every material document if there is any financial impact there is bound to be an accounting document also right when i say accounting document we, that will also will have that will also will have a um, what you call the document type isn't it so therefore you need to set up number range for the accounting document type for that you should be knowing what is the document type for the accounting document okay okay so here there is no accounting document for the material document that i have selected but let me just go to this one you see here the new document that i posted just now so this is the one 
it's the same document number that I have configured, isn't it? In case if you have any doubts, just come back here, go to this place, okay? Display intervals. What is your year? 2012. Give me a moment. Display groups, if you go there. W E right. So this is the one. If I just go with it, you would see it. Okay. Okay, so this is the number range that you have used. Alright, now if you see, I'm going with the display of the material document that's just posted. Go with F5 documents. Now you will see an accounting document if there is any financial impact. For this particular accounting document also, you would have the document type. So what is the document type for this? Just go with the header information where you would see document type WE. Isn't it? So, okay, so document type, this is the number for the accounting document. So in case if you want to have your own document type number range for the accounting document as well, so what you can do is, you can just come back here number range for the accounting documents if you look at here financial accounting document type if you just go into this place you will see those things we or whatever wa would be there you see here we is for goods receipt wi is for um, uh, physical inventory okay so like this wa is for goods issue so like this you will have different document types and those number ranges you can configure it here itself at the company code level. Your company code is 777. So when you go with intervals, okay, for uh, 2012, okay, so for 2012, you would have the number ranges maintained for that. In case if you want to define your own number ranges, you see here, this is the one which is being picked up. In case if you want to define your own intervals also, there is no problem. You just have to go like this. You maintain the number range. Okay? So this is how the number range is being maintained. The rest of the things, goods issues, goods receipts, those things you can do. Goods issue document type, you see here WA will be the document type. Transaction code MB1A. Okay? And then you go to material document number range setup and the where you will be defining that. Similarly, automatic movements for the document type. Look at here, automatic movement types. I told you there are two transactions which we use it for goods um, receipt, MB01A and MB0A. MB01A, MBA, here it's not there, but there is another place where I can add it. Okay, so leave this one time being. Okay, so this node is basically meant for number range setup. Okay, now field selection for goods movements are initial header. <coughs> Let me just go with this as well. If you look into it, like you have seen it in goods, um, I mean, metal master, vendor master, and even in the purchasing, how to make a certain field as optional or uh, uh, mandatory or suppressed. It's the same thing here. These are various fields available in the inventory management. Look at here, required display height. Required display height. What is missing? Mandatory required. Okay, display is display only. Hide means hide or suppress. Optional is missing. If you don't check any of these three, 
then it becomes optional. So that means what all the fields in this table is optional. If you want to make a certain field as mandatory, you can do so. Okay? Like this. You see here every field is mandatory. If you want it, you can make it as, uh, sorry, optional. If you want, you can make it as a certain field as display only or, or mandatory. You can do so. Okay. So this is how you should be going with this. This is a straightforward thing. And then settings for enjoy transaction, which is nothing but Migo. Okay. So when you go into it, what is the settings relevant for Migo transaction alone? As I told you, Migo is an enjoy transaction. So these are various field selections, moments for the Migo. You can just go with it. Okay. You see here, delivery note has been maintained as highlight. So it means what, when you go with um, this one, when you go with Migo, Goods receipt, purchase order. <clears throat> okay, so in case if you want to make any field highlighted, means it, it appears in a, a blue color plan. Okay, for example, I'll show you. Just give me a moment. Let me rerun the transaction. Slash and Migo. Cancellation. For example, if you cancel this, say item okay, quantity. No, it's not cancellation. One second. Migo. I wanted to go with return delivery. When you go with return delivery, I think I have seen a certain field reason for return delivery. You see here, reason for movement. This is what we call it as highlighted. Reason for uh, movement is highlighted. So that's how, so if you check it here, that, that will appear as highlighted. And that is based on movement type. This, the one that you see is generic. You have to go with movement type based also. That's where you, this is the what I was referring to. Okay. So if you go with, uh, for example, what is that, 122, you see here, 122, it is made as a required, okay, so therefore this becomes highlighted, okay, similarly settings for transactions and references, you see here, this is important. When you are doing goods receipt using Migo transactions, you see here all these things are appearing, right? You know how are they coming here? And uh, also, I told you your Migo transaction is equivalent of some nine or ten transactions. This one, okay? This is how I can use same using Migo itself. I can do goods receipt. I can do return delivery. I can do cancellation. I can display material document. Like all these things can be performed. How is these things coming? How are the uh, various processes or transactions in Migo is controlled? This is the node. <coughs> okay. Look at here. Settings for transactions and reference documents. When you go here and click on that, look, Migo is your main transaction. So just, just select this one. Go with transaction event. Now you see here, I will just go with, currently, assume it, this is the standard setting. Okay, now I will just refresh the screen, Migo screen, look at here. I can do receipt, return delivery, cancellation, display, releasing of block stock, subsequent delivery, goods issue, transfer posting remove from storage, place it in storage location, so on and so forth. Now out of this, I wanted to, you know, remove a couple of things. I don't want to use Migo for transfer posting. 
I don't want to use Mega Car. Transfer posting as I go, I also don't want to use them. Um, for example, subsequent adjustment means I wanted to remove transfer posting and subsequent adjustment. How can I do it? Come to this place. Okay. Choose Mego. Go with transactions array, which ones which you do not want it. A. A11 subsequent adjustment I don't want to. Transaction transfer postings I don't want to. I don't want to use any of these um, transfer posting related and subsequent adjustment. Just go and check save it. Now if you go refresh your Mego screen, you don't see them here. Okay? So this is how you can control the transactions to be performed using Migo. That's one thing. Now you see here, next level. Goods received with reference to so many document types. Even this can be controlled from here. Goods received. Now you see here, reference document types. Assume it, everything is checked. You save it. Now you just go and refresh it once again. Okay, goods receipt, you see here, purchase order, material document, inbound delivery, outbound delivery, transport, transport ID code, order, reservation, others, etc, etc. Now, look at here. I'll just choose Migo, goods receipt, reference documents. So here, I'm sorry, can you just give me a moment please? Hello? Hello. Okay. So here, for example, I don't want to do goods receipt with reference to um, this order, with reference to transport ID code, with reference to transport, with reference to outbound delivery. I don't want these things to be performed in Migo transaction. Save it. Now you come back here. Right now, you see there are so many things. Now I am refreshing my screen, Migo screen. Look at here. Okay, so this is how you can control Migo. So this is this is what I was referring to a couple of days ago. Migo is equivalent of so many transactions. Okay, so this is how you would be performing those things. Any questions in this? Hello? No, sir. Pavitra? No, sir. Okay. No, sir. Thank you. Now, let me move on to the next configuration. Goods issue transfer posting, we will discuss it when we work with goods issues. Now let me go with receipt because we have already completed receipts. Let me just go and complete these things. Set tolerance limit. I discussed in the last class under delivery tolerance and over delivery tolerance. Okay, so these are the ones. What's the company code? The company code is 777. Of course, those under delivery, over delivery tolerances are controlled via uh, <coughs> purchasing value key. But now here what you see is something called the moving average price variance. I think we, we did discuss about these things. Here at this place we will set up three tolerances. B1, B2 and BP. B1, order price quantity tolerance. We have discussed about even that one also. Order price quantity tolerance. Which is like, you know, you order a, a, in, in a PO, you order 10 pieces. Each piece equals to 2 kg and uh, price equals to 2 rupees per kg, right? So in that case, quantity multiplied by price, okay, conversion, so those things. So if the order value, this B1 is, if you want order price quantity variance when it is occurred, you want a warning message or you wanted an error message. This can be controlled by this B1, B2 keys and this VP key moving average price key which is basically in your purchase order assume it the price maintained in the PO is 10 rupees whereas the material mass price is 11 rupees 
in case if there is any deviation of the price maintained in the PO versus the price maintained in the metal master, then this particular key will be triggered, VP. Okay? So, therefore, if you want to maintain these three keys, you can maintain it. So, order price quantity variance, this is error message. If the price deviation is 50%, I wanted it to be maintained as warning. 50 or 30, whatever you wanted. This is the customer which you have to give it. Any any deviation up to 30%, um, I would consider it as error message. Any deviation up to, you know, 10 to 15%, okay, let's say 10%. Which I will treat it as a, a warning message. I can go with it. And then about the moving average uh, price variance. Okay. So here also, if I want, I can go and check it as price difference of um, 5. Okay. So those things. So now, you see here, I will just raise a PO for a certain material. Say so this rail wheel tire. What is the price maintained in the material? Let me have a look at it. I will go into accounting view. You see here, the price, oh ok, so this is standard price. I cannot use this material. I need a material having uh, moving average price. Okay, I cannot use this material. Give me one more moment. Uh, goods receipt document slash show uh, MM02 or MM03. Let's use some other material. What is this? 354. Okay, let's take this material. It has got a price of 15. Okay. Now I'm going to raise a PO for this. Where is our document type? ZNPO. Where was that? It's down. Okay. Thank you. Um, I did not remember the vendors. Seven 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 C. For example, Radhika purchase organization purchase group company code. Here is the material. <laughs> Come on. Here is the material number and here is the land quantity of 10. Okay, and now what am I going to do is I'm going to change this to some 17. Okay. Or let me make it as 18. Okay. Save it. Okay, so now just go and display this PO. It requires some time to update the tables. Okay. So now, this is your PO. Look at here, I'm going to do receipt for this PO. Let's 
purchase order okay so now this is going to touch the configurations okay for example if I go and check you will have some messages that message number that message number will be validated at this point of time okay so if you want the message number also I can give you the message number just give me a moment The message number is not there. No, no, no. Number all right but then come on complete yes. uh -huh. Okay. I'll just give you one moment. Now if you go with check, you are expected to see some message here. Ah oh, yes sir. Because the PO price is eighteen rupees whereas the the metal master price is fifteen rupees. What is the difference? Three rupees. Three rupees. Percentage wise? Oh, come on. Posting is only possible in this month. I will change the I will change convert the period also. Now you check it once again. You are expected to see some message. You see here, price change of 20% in month of so and so. Can you just give me a moment please? Will you put some money? They put account this to. Or no plan at now, huh? Huh? Up to the road, sir. It means what? Okay. So this, this, if you look at this, this is a message. Okay. M seven three zero six. Due to action taken, the quantity and the value of the material are changed. This leads to calculation of new moving average price. The price, yeah. You see here, this message. The new price deviates from the old one by twenty percent. Okay. Yeah. So all these things. Oh, sorry. What is the message number? M7306. So if you look at this one, we have already seen this one. Here you would have that. M7206 or what? 306. 306, okay. Okay, so like this, you are expected to see messages because of the the price is not matching with the material master price. Okay, so the tolerances you can set it that way, and then create storage location automatically. This, if you look into this place at your plant, because you have already maintained. 
I'll just show you here. This check has come automatically. Why? Because when you went with the plant parameters in your material management, okay, here, you just went with maintain plant parameters in the beginning, right? So that's where you have maintained 777C. You see here, this one. Because you checked it here, that's the reason it has come automatically defaulted to goods receipt. Right? Same thing, because you checked it here at, at your plant level. You checked it here at your plant level. When you go into goods issue also, where is goods issue? If you go into goods issue also, it would have been there for your plant. Okay, which one? 770C. I mean goods issue now. You see here, it will be available. So that's the beauty of maintaining plant parameters at the top level. Okay, now create purchase order automatically. If you want to create, this is the place where we stopped in the previous class. How to create purchase order upon goods receipt. Look at here. When you go into this, you have to specify which movement type, based on which movement type the purchase order needs to be created. Ideally, 101, you have to have this check enabled for that. Okay? This is one thing that is required. And then one more thing. While you are performing goods receipt, you see here, plant you have checked its create storage location automatically. Even for the movement type also, while performing which movement type the storage location data needs to be created, you can check this. Okay, then we have seen this one. Set manual account assignment. This is not so uh, important one. Normally, what happens is, if you enable this particular check, it, it validates it at the time of receipt, whether you have access to post uh, a certain value into a certain general ledger account or not. So, this is not so... Um, uh, what you call the important thing. So you just take whatever is available in the standard system. Then define screen layout for goods they see. Which field is to be maintained as mandatory? Which field is to be maintained as optional? This is for the other goods they see. Okay? You see here, select 501 movement type. You could see here, under general data, which field is to be maintained as optional, which field is to be maintained as required entry or not. For 101 and all, you would have already seen this here. Where? Here. Settings for enjoying mom enjoy moments. <coughs> here we have already maintained for 101, 122, 124, etc., etc. The one that you see here under goods receipt is only for the, uh, the goods receipt without PO. Isn't it? 501, 503, you have seen these ones, right? So for this you will be doing it here. Then maintain copying rules for reference documents. There is one checkbox called proposed pre-selection indicator. If you want to use MB01 or MB0A, other goods receipts, goods receipts with reference to PY, etc. Where if you want to refer the previous document, this check needs to be there, which is also standard and by default. You have not, you need not have to do anything. Dynamic availability check, I discussed it in goods issue. This is something like if you want to issue some material to the cost center, it should find out whether the stock is available or not. That's about this. Dynamic availability check deals with uh, what we call it as a, um, uh, come on, um, <clears throat> let me go inside. Yeah, checking rule and checking group, which needs to be assigned to the movement type and uh, it, it needs to be assigned to the transaction code. <coughs> I will discuss this in goods issue, which is where it is relevant. Set delivery completion indicator. This also would have been there by default. Why? In the plant parameters, you check the set delivery completion indicator. So therefore, for your 777C plant, the check would have been there automatically. <coughs> okay. Now, missing parts check. This is again, missing parts check is like your dynamic availability check. Even here also you define checking rule, checking group and uh, assign to the uh, 
uh, moment time assigned to the transaction code. <coughs> so we deal with both of these things in the uh, goods issue step. Okay. Now there is one more important one from the FI accounting perspective. For GR based IV, reversal of goods received despite IR. This is like the normal process is you do goods PO, you do goods receipt, you post invoice and then you post payment. Assume it, you come to know that you have done some mistake at the time of invoice, I mean once the invoice is posted. You tell me how to correct that good mistake in the goods receipt. The number of there is number of items sir, mm -hmm. can uh, delete uh, can modify the quantity in reversal transaction. Otherwise, if a single item we have to reverse the yeah. That's correct, sir. What I'm saying is, you have a PO, you have a goods receipt posted, okay, and you have a invoice receipt posted, isn't it? Now, at this point of time, you came to know <coughs> that GR is wrong. Now, you wanted to correct the goods receipt. So, what would you do? Will you go directly to goods receipt or will you perform something? So, first we have to reverse the invoice receipt and then we should go to GR reversal. Exactly. Reversal in the reversed chronological order. Chronological order. So what you do, you first IR reversal, then you go GR reversal, and then you do GR properly. Isn't it? Here, uh, invoice, invoice reversal is in uh, finance control, sir. Is it? Depends, Andy. Um, <clears throat> IR, invoice receipts is part of SABMM but will be taken care by FICO. So whether it is FICO or MM, this is the process. You have to reverse it yes. in a reverse chronological order. Now, okay. let's say some customer will say, why should I do reversal this way? I wanted to post uh, reversal of GR despite there is an invoice posted which is not correct as per the standard process. But if there is any customer who wanted to post reversal of in uh, GR despite there is an invoice posting, I can I can allow him to do so. This is the place. For goods receipt based invoice, reversal of goods receipt despite an invoice. You have to check it. Okay, 102 movement type, you check this one. Reversal of GR means what cancellation only, right? 102 movement type. If you check this one, it allows you to post goods receipt reversal even though there is an invoice. But SAP recommends not to do that way. If you do this way, there is an there is a what we call it as pending amounts in the GRIR account, which will create a lot of problems at the time of year ending, at the time of month end postings. Therefore, this is not correct. But if a customer wanted, I can do this one. So, because SAP recommends not to do this, I am checking this one, but there is a place where you can activate it, right? So, this is the one, right? Set expiration date, you can do this one at plant and movement type level. Expiration date, there is something called the SLED, SLED, okay? There is something called SLED, shelf life expiration date. Okay, SLED means shelf life expiration date. For example, if you want to work with shelf life expiration date check, you can do so. How to how you know how to perform this one? At the time of goods received, if you are trying to receive a material which is going to be expired tomorrow, then your system will generate a message. Correct? How to do this one? If I have to perform this, your system should know what is the minimum remaining shelf life that you should maintain. Isn't it? Let me show you this. 
I'll go with MM02 change material okay I'll go with the general plan data 1 2 seven seven C triple zero one locked by Lakshmi it means we are doing maybe goods receipt I'll go out of this okay now it will allow me to go inside when you are here you have something called minimum remaining shelf life needs to be maintained minimum remaining shelf life is it is 30 days okay remember I have entered 30 days as the minimum remaining shelf life <coughs> okay period indicated for a slip this is D this stands for days okay minimum remaining shelf life 30 days means what I have to maintain what is the manufacturing date from the date of manufacturing it should be of 30 days okay assume it I have saved this one now in the configurations for my plant I am checking this indicator okay what is this indicator you just go and check it check best before date production date so it means what if you check this indicator at the time of goods receipt your system is going to ask you what is the production date my material master is this one okay now you see here I am going to do goods receipt for this PO MIGO POs for the material the one that we have just changed vendor so and so I wanted to find out POs based on material number okay I would go with this there are so many POs okay so what is the latest PO is this the one? Let's take this. Let's see. How much quantity? Quantity of five I am receiving. Item OK. Where? Into so and so storage location. Hit enter. Go with purchase order data. We'll check this one. Now you go with check. I thought of changing this one but I did not let me complete this one now you see here enter shelf life expiration date why because you have maintained the the SLED activation. So how do you do that? You come here. You see here. Let me enter date of manufacturing as uh, 10 days before. It is asking shelf life expiration date shelf life expiration date also I would specify it as 15th of this one okay now I go with check what is it says not one of 14 days why you have given only 14 days one second sir can you hear me Sonora Garden Piston Andy I'm in question, sir. So why why is this error? Only shelf life uh, nearly um, one year and fifteen days or twenty days on the Kundavandi, you can shoot any material master than any March channel in that. March. What is that I have maintained? 
ಮಿನಿಮಮ್ ಸ್ಟೋರೇಜ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಡೇಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಮಿನಿಮಮ್ ರಿಮೈನಿಂಗ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಡೇಸ್ ಅಣ್ಣ ನಾನು ಮಿನಿಮಮ್ ರಿಮೈನಿಂಗ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಡೇಸ್ ಅಂತೇ ಡೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾನುಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಚರಿಂಗ್ ವಚ್ಚೇಸಿ 29 ಇಚ್ಚ ಶೆಲ್ಫ್ ಲೈಫ್ ವಚ್ಚೇಸಿ 15 15 07 ಬಿಟ್ಟ ಸೋ ಅಬ್ರೆ ಏನು ಇದು ಇಕ್ಕೋ ಪೂರ್ತಿ ಡೇಸ್ ಆಗಲ್ಲ 16 ಡೇಸ್ ಐ 16 ಡೇಸ್ ಐ ಕಾಬಟ್ಟೆ ಮಿಕ್ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಫಾಲ್ ಆಫ್ 14 ಡೇಸ್ ಅನ್ನು ವಚ್ಚೇನ್ right so this is how you can activate shelf life expiration in the inventory management normally if uh, if batch management module is implemented shelf life expiration date will be considered as one of the characteristic batch characteristic <coughs> shelf life expiration can be implemented without batch management also okay so therefore if you want to go with shelf life expiration this is how you should go i am removing this check because i have to do lot many things in inventory management if i check this one every time it asks me the um, the the shelf life date and uh, you know the production date etc so therefore i have removed it but if you want it that's how you should be doing it right so this is all about your goods they see it then <coughs> i want you to tell you there's one more thing which is uh creation of a po automatically upon goods receipt that's one thing that we will see and also there is one more thing called uh, uh, grga slip with that we will conclude the goods receipt okay you see here create purchase order automatically this you have made the setting and i also told you that there are few more settings that you need to look at <clears throat> one the material master should contain auto po indicator let me just go back to the material and maintain that in case if it is not there auto po indicator is there for this material which is good prerequisite 1 fulfilled prerequisite 2 <coughs> xk02 i am going into vendor master radhika is the vendor going into purchasing data hmm. purchase organization right you see here auto po indicator should be maintained then point number 3 info record should be there me 13 let me just go with this for this vendor for this material is there any info record available yes info record is there okay info record is there with the price of 15 no problem three conditions master data prerequisites have been fulfilled then fourth one <coughs> fourth one i told you the which make which uh, movement type should trigger auto po indicator that should be there that is already there apart from this i also told you in the enterprise structure standard purchase organization to be assigned to your client which i am sure i would have done it in the beginning itself right so if you have these three then that's all you require material management assign standard purchase organization to plant just go here look for your plant 777c you just have to have one purchase organization so here company code purchase organization is assigned to plant as a standard purchase organization so therefore i need some entry over here that's all okay now let me execute the process look at here i also told you that automatic po will be generated upon goods receipt with reference to only two transactions one is mb01 the other one is mb0a <coughs> now you see i'll go with mb01 where do you see mb01 It, it's not a new thing it's an old one available in the inventory management okay should be available somewhere here mb01 and mb0a uh come on where is it uh 
search untun untun underscore sap underscore main search sap main mb01 is the transaction code you see here it's somewhere here mb01 I'm trying to find out the shortcut way. Logistics, middle management, purchasing, master data, subsequent adjustment. Okay, so it's it's here. Okay. So MB01 is there, but it's in master data, subsequent settlement. Middle management, purchasing, master data, subsequent settlement, vendor, repairs, environment. So if you go into this place, you would find that. Okay. Instead of doing that, I'll simply go with slash and MB01. Okay. Here, you have to maintain what is the movement type that you are dealing with. Okay. And then, you see here, you should not go with PO purchase orders. You don't know the PO right here. So therefore you should go with PO unknown. Right? So you specify the uh, goods receipt document. Okay? Sorry, movement type and the vendor information also. What is the Radhika's vendor number? This is vendor number. So you maintain the vendor number here. Right? Then you put the storage location information as well hit enter okay so let me correct this one first 296 sir ah uh, yeah mirror uh, i'll just go give me one moment display info record locally slash n mmpv is a transaction to close the current period your company code is this one you wanted to close 0, 6. If you want to close 0, 6, you have to open 0, 7. Okay? Like this. Just go and execute. Right? Now if I go and look at MMRV, current period is 0, 7. So therefore, I don't need to look about. Once again, let me refresh the transaction. 101 moment type. Storage location triple zero one. Okay, PO unknown. Like I said, you give the this information, vendor information. Hit enter. Okay. When you hit enter, system will try to find out all the POs created for vendor. Do not select anything. Okay just go back right now movement type so and so plan so and so storage location so and so now you go with create you see here I'm going with create uh, one sec what is the material number this one right quantity of 17 now you see I'm hitting enter. You would see some message. PO will be created automatically or something like that. You see there, there is a batch. There is a column called batch. Here, if, if my transaction is successful in the batch field, I, I, I should be seeing PO number. <clears throat> Not now, but when, once the goods receipt is processed successfully. Okay. So let's wait for a couple more minutes so that it gets completed. Okay. So now I would simply go and save this. Let me see if it gets saved and PO number is available in, under the batch field. <coughs> 
this kind of uh, process you will go when um, you know your buyer is not available to create a PO but the, the vendor is ready to supply the material immediately and you require PO because you need to you know if your company process invoices only with reference to PO so therefore you require compulsory purchase order uh, but buyer is not available to process uh, the PO in such cases you do goods receipt first and then with as a result of goods receipt PO will be created okay and you can use that PO for invoice processing wait for a couple more minutes let it get successfully processed mm. okay now you see this is the document that's been posted I would go with display Hit enter uh, it's time अवेटी <laughs> మన సిస్టమ్స్ మన యూజ్ చేసే సిస్టమ్స్ కి మెమరీ తక్కువ ఉంటుంది కదా సో డేటాబేస్ టేబుల్ కి అప్డేట్ అవడానికి కొంచెం టైం పడుతుంది ఫ్రాక్షన్ ఆఫ్ మినిట్ నౌ యు సీ హియర్ దిస్ ఇస్ ద పివో విచ్ ఇస్ క్రియేటెడ్ యాజ్ అ రిజల్ట్ ఆఫ్ గుడ్స్ రిసీవ్ సో ఇఫ్ యు జస్ట్ గో ఇంటూ దిస్ పివో వెర్ వాస్ దట్ ఓకే సో ఇఫ్ యు జస్ట్ గో ఇంటూ దిస్ పివో let me just go and now you see and then click just there and go open all there so the my, my system's response time is very very slow <coughs> what did i last connection can you guys hear me okay right so now i am going with po number you could see this po is created for quantity 17 okay and if you look into delivery delivery would have been completed isn't it and if you look into purchase order history this is the document with reference to which it is posted got it so you can create purchase orders automatically upon doing goods receipt this is the this is how you can do it either you can use mb01 or you can use mb0a both both ways the process is same okay i would just show you with the mb0a look at here it's the same way you should go with for purchase orders and then you should go with purchase orders unknown okay this is where you should be giving the vendor information okay and then hit enter okay do not select any of the pos now you should come here and then no entries were found for the search items search terms means for the pos now if you go and just create it this is how you should be doing it once again 17 or 18 whatever number you wanted you just go and process it for example something like this just go and process it okay so this is one thing and then there is one more thing called grgi slip goods receipt goods issue slip would you like to see that one also i'll just show you quickly there will be couple of settings give me a moment you should go into um where is that the number ranges for document types let me close this you should go into here define number assignment 
okay number ranges for material documents go to this place ah sorry not this one come down here number assignment to grgi slip come to this place first of all you have to activate for your plant 777c right by default it's activated because you would have copied from your triple zero, copied your plant from triple zero one okay this check should be there point number one then you can create your own number range grouping code so here um, if you want you can just go with new entries yeah something like seven 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 okay go and create it or else you can use the existing number ranges also for example you see here zero one is there here number range grouping okay how to create it you should create interval over here okay so you create here interval 0 1 something like this hmm. one second give me a moment object if you go here hmm. intervals you go and create let's say change groups so here you go create your own group Nissan group right this is for the not for the material document this is for the GR slip printing okay um, shall I use this one or this one let's say I would use something similar to this one two three one two three okay this is my Nissan group okay so now you save this one Nissan group okay now what you can do is come back come back intervals let's go with intervals okay so this is your interval right this is what I have just created 2012 is the interval okay now go with this so for your 777 number range interval you can if, if you want to go with this 01 this is a number which will be picked up okay if you want to create your own new things Okay, new, new, okay, interval I have not created. Let me just go and pick it up. Change intervals. Ah, interval is already there. Number range object. Insert here, and this is already there. okay so um, what I do is for this Nissan group I have this from number and two number maintained okay that's all I want and I need not have to do anything more let's let let me just go to this place 777 I will just use some number okay any number which I wanted save this okay and here I have already maintained this group Nissan group okay so this 77C I wanted to take out and put it over Nissan group okay save it back and then here in the object where you have to find out your plant one second 77c it's not there so you go with new entries maintain your plant 77c
the storage location triple zero one moment at one zero one or you can do it this way or the other way is let me just close this or the other way is you look for um, something like a thousand or something like that and then you can assign it that way anyway you can do it okay number range grouping code you have already maintained it so you pick it from the existing one okay it's already there Achha, I have not saved it let me just go and do it save it now I go and maintain this okay with this that's all I have to do in case when while you are practicing if you are getting any okay apart from this there is also one more thing called output control output determination here okay if you are getting any error you see there is one program rm07 ncus you have to run this program okay let me just run this one you don't see anything when you run it but normally let me see first in case if i am not if i am not getting print out then i'll i'll run this one otherwise i need not have to okay so come back here you see it's like condition technique whatever condition technique that you have we have discussed in purchasing it's the same thing which I will be doing here maintain output determination procedure like your calculation schema or, or a procedure pricing procedure here also you will have one pricing or one output definition procedure for inventory management okay that will be something like ME three zeros and one if you select this one go into control data you will have various condition types my condition type or message type for goods received with reference to purchase order is WE01 which is already there in case if you want to create your own like I said go with the UN trace okay if you want to create your own procedure also you go with copy as and create your own entry so WE01 is my condition type isn't it for my WE01 condition type or message type you should find out access sequence key isn't it WE01 let me see access sequence key if you go into this you would have some access sequence key triple zero three isn't it so for this triple zero three okay if you just go back this is a standard setting which I am expecting everything will be available if you go into access sequence key what do you see you see accesses which is nothing but various conditions or condition table there is only one condition table which is based on the uh, what you call the um, based on uh, what I call uh, key combination of fields transaction printed version print ID okay so if you just go into this these are the fields that you see transaction or event type print version print item what are they you could see very well from here for this you have to maintain the condition table okay now you see here maintain conditions maintain output definition procedure which we have already gone through now you go with maintain conditions how to maintain condition we should go with create condition when you go with create condition what's your output type WE01 okay so here transaction event is WE goods received with reference to purchase order print version you have which document you wanted to print out individual print out I would say yes individual print then this is print ID item print item what do you want to print material document or a GRGI slip whatever okay I would go with material document print out hit enter oh, okay this item is already available like I said because this is the standard setting 
once you run that program, I told you, right? If you run that program, if you run that program, that would be there by default. Okay. You see here, this is already there, so therefore you need not have to maintain. How these things will come? Like I said, if you come on, let me close this. If you would have run this particular program, RM07 Yankas, if you run this program, all these things automatically get updated. Okay. Now, having done this, you see here, I will simply just do one more goods receipt and then we'll show you how a GRJS slip looks like. Okay. With this, we will conclude the session of goods receipts. Let me post one goods receipts uh, slip and then we will conclude the session. So I'm using the old PO which I have created uh, <coughs> some time back. You see GRGI slip. This you need to check it. Can you guys hear me? Minipistan Nani, Sundaravar and Pavitra. I'm Minipistan sir. Okay. <coughs> All right. Okay. Now you see you have to check this indicator GRGI slip. You enter the PO number. Okay. PO number is already entered. Okay. Quantity. Let it be 10. That's no problem. Storage location. You maintain it. And then you go to this place. You do this one. Okay. Now you go with check. So far you have not seen any goods receipt slip number in any of the goods receipts that you have performed. Now upon checking this and saving this, you would see GRGI slip number here. Okay. Once you go with the display, let me save this one first and then let's see the GRGI slip number. If it is there here, it means your configurations are correct. And to, to display the GRGS slip, you have to go with a different transaction, which also I will show you. Now, I will go with the display. This is your material document. Now, you see here, is this the number that I have configured? 220002229999, correct? This is what I have configured. Now, in order to see it, you see here, if output is there here, that means your your configurations are correct. How to see the output? Let me take you to different transaction. For this, you have to come to inventory management. Here. Can you just give me a moment please? Hello? Hello. Hello. All right. So material document. Just go inside. Process output MB90. This is the one that you should use. When you go with this, what's your output type? WE01. Isn't it? Transmission medium, you take print out. Okay. This is your material document. Just go and hit it. What is it says? No message for initial processing. Okay. Processing mode, you take reprocessing or repeat processing. Just go and hit this one. Now you see here, this is the one. If you just go with um, print preview, you should see the GRGI slip. It's been posted on so and so date. This is the goods receipt document number. That is material document number. Right? It's been posted for plant so and so. It immediately is arrived from so and so vendor. Okay? Purchasing group is so and so. His telephone number is so and so. Material is so and so. There is no batch number. It's been posted into the storage location. Clear? So this is how the GRJS slip can be printed. Okay, any questions?
same way you can even print the goods issue slips also provided if you check the movement type that we will see tomorrow any questions in today's session else we will stop it after generating gr hmm uh, sir uh, material identification tags untai ga sir adi indulo ledha configuration la identification text ent entandi naaku meer explain cheyali identification text ent ent tags identification tags ante material vastundi hmm material vachin tarvata instruction antha ayin tarvata aa tag dani description details anni untai anamata supplier order p1 p1 number supplier name and the uh, description of the material quantity and the uh, slip me the uh, identity material identification tag me the uh, on the print out and got it then it tag is and then hand over yes and then you will just remind them to get a deal made them you can make a wall and take a while ah yes I can and the I will tell you to but this is a raw format we can the moon chicken at the PO time the chicken at the this is a raw ah. format we came in the car on the chip there me as a functional yeah. contact i will work with the above person and ensure that material number vachindi inga mere tax code geeks kodi kedu antunnaru kada avanni kodi ikkada nenu rappinchagalu edi material dagara material information aithe adhe meek kavals header information aithe ikkada nunchi ikkada ikkada pettinchagalu they will not come automatically enduku raavu antanandi idi raw format meer aaja meer 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 nfc allo chustuntaru మీకు అలా ఉంది ఇంకొక నువ్వు టూ పాయింట్ లో చూస్తే వాళ్ళకి వేరే ఎలా ఉంటుంది నేను థామ్సన్ లో చూస్తే నాకు వేరే ఎలా ఉంటుంది అందుచేత ఏంటంటే డీఫాల్ట్ గా ఏదైతే స్టాండర్డ్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ కావాలో అంత వరకే ఈ స్టాండర్డ్ ఫార్మాట్ లో ఉంటుందండి మిగతాది మీకు కావాలి అంటే ఎస్ ఐ కెన్ గెట్ ఇట్ డన్ బట్ విత్ ద హెల్ప్ ఆఫ్ ఎబాప్ చేస్తారండి అట్లాగే చేస్తాను కూడా ఎందుకంటే స్టాండర్డ్ ఫార్మాట్ లో అవన్నీ రావండి కస్టమర్ ఈచ్ కస్టమర్ విల్ హ్యావ్ ఈజ్ ఓన్ ఫార్మాట్స్ సో అప్పుడు ఏం చేస్తాం అంటే ముందు టెంప్లెట్ డిజైన్ చేపిస్తాం అబాపత్తో ముందు మీ దగ్గర ఏమేమి కావాలో తీసుకుని దాంతో టెంప్లెట్ డిజైన్ చేపించి ఆ టెంప్లెట్ ని దీనికి అసైన్ చేస్తాం అన్నమాట పవిత్ర ఎనీ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఫ్రమ్ యూ హలో నో సార్ Okay, so Sridhar, any questions from you? Hope you are not sleeping. I think it's about 12 o'clock your time. No, no more questions. All right then, let me stop it here. So I'm stopping recording as well. We'll see you tomorrow, same time, 10 o'clock. Thank you very much.